The post credits scene in the fifth episode of Marvel's Echo, titled Maya, lays the foundation for the future of a significant street-level character in the MCU. A spin-off from Phase 4's Hawkeye series, Echo follows Maya Lopez, a deaf Choctaw hero, as she returns to her hometown of Tamaha, Oklahoma, after attempting to take down Kingpin. In Tamaha, Maya not only wages war against Kingpin's New York City empire, but also re-establishes connections with her family, whom she has been estranged from for nearly two decades. The narrative takes a pivotal turn when Kingpin appears in Tamaha, leading to a showdown with Maya, who has tapped into her ancestral powers. The confrontation between Kingpin and Maya ends in a stalemate, as Maya utilizes her healing abilities to assist Fisk in addressing the childhood trauma that drove him to commit patricide. Subsequently, Kingpin and his associates retreat from the Choctaw powwow, leaving Maya free to reunite with her family. The conclusion of Echo opens the door for future storylines, and the post credit scene explicitly teases the groundwork for another upcoming MCU show. What happens in Marvel's Echo post credit scene? The Echo post credit scene unfolds with Kingpin aboard his private plane, a familiar setting from a previous episode where Maya rejects the idea of returning to New York City with him. Presumably en route back to New York, Kingpin, accompanied by a woman who seems to be his assistant, attends to business matters. After issuing an order to gather the remaining heads for the purpose of stabilizing the situation, Fisk shifts his focus to a TV airing two political commentators discussing the NYC mayoral race. The commentators highlight the lack of a clear frontrunner and emphasize the city's desire for a mayor who embodies a fighter, even suggesting the need for a bare-knuckle brawler. As Fisk watches, his keen interest becomes evident, hinting at his contemplation of entering the mayoral race. Despite Wilson Fisk's historical portrayal as a public figure with a business orientation rather than a political candidate, the on-screen discussion emphasizes the necessity for a fearless advocate willing to combat for the people of New York and challenge the establishment. It becomes apparent that Kingpin perceives himself as the ideal candidate for the role. Who are the heads Kingpin refers to? Before Kingpin begins watching the discussion about the NYC mayoral race, he coordinates with his assistant regarding what needs to be done upon his return to the city. The only directive the audience hears is to set up a meeting with the remaining heads, presumably referring to the remaining leaders of his organization. In an earlier Echo episode, Maya's actions led to the destruction of an armory within Fisk's empire, causing significant damage. Given that Kingpin typically rules through fear and was believed to be dead after Maya shot him in the eye, it's likely that Fisk intends to stabilize his criminal organization and reinforce its control over the city upon his return. How Echo's post credit scene sets up Kingpin in Daredevil Born Again. The confirmation of Vincent D'Onofrio's return as Kingpin in Daredevil Born Again has generated anticipation and while Marvel has yet to unveil official story details, set photos and an early synopsis have provided intriguing hints about Wilson Fisk's role. Photographs from the set feature Mayor Fisk memorabilia at an event, showcasing a formerly attired kingpin in what is widely speculated to be part of his mayoral campaign. Furthermore, a US copyright filing for Daredevil Born Again suggests both kingpin and Matthew Murdoch aka Daredevil, will attempt to serve the people of New York. The post credit scene in Echo appears to substantiate these speculations, solidifying that Kingpin will indeed enter the mayoral race in New York City during Daredevil Born Again. This development is likely to reignite his enduring conflict with Daredevil for control over the city. Moreover, the post credit scene in Echo hints at Kingpin, adopting a role akin to former U.S. President Donald Trump. Much like Trump's original campaign, emphasizing the need for a non-traditional politician, the commentators in Echo discuss New York City's requirement for someone outside the typical political mold. This narrative choice draws clear parallels between Kingpin and Trump. 
While it remains uncertain if this theme will persist in Daredevil Born Again, the possibility suggests an intriguing layer to Kingpin's character development in the upcoming storyline. Will Daredevil Born Again's creative changes affect Kingpin's storyline? In late 2023, reports surfaced that Marvel had replaced the original writers and directors of Daredevil Born Again during the production hiatus caused by the WGA and SAG-AFTRA strikes. Allegedly, Marvel executives, including Kevin Feige, found the existing footage and direction unsatisfactory. To salvage the project, Marvel enlisted Justin Benson and Aaron Moorhead, directors from Loki Season 2, who are incorporating some previously filmed scenes and episodes. Despite these creative changes, it appears that Daredevil Born Again's overall storyline, including Kingpin's mayoral run, is expected to remain intact. Kingpin running for mayor adapts a Marvel comic storyline. Drawing inspiration from the comics, Wilson Fisk's mayoral bid mirrors a storyline where he successfully becomes the mayor of New York City. Once in office, he initiates a conflict against vigilantes, particularly targeting Daredevil. In a surprising move, Matt Murdock assumes the role of Fisk's deputy mayor, intending to exploit the position to undermine Kingpin's plans. The narrative takes a twist when an attack by the hand leaves Kingpin in a coma, leading Matt to become the acting mayor until Fisk's recovery. As the storyline unfolds, Matt resigns as deputy mayor, securing a promise from Fisk to cease hostilities against vigilantes. The extent to which Daredevil Born Again will incorporate this comic narrative remains uncertain. While the Netflix Daredevil series introduced the Hand as adversaries, this element has not been explicitly mentioned in the MCU. Regardless, the storyline implies that Kingpin will ascend to the mayoral office, posing challenges for Matt Murdock both as a lawyer and as Daredevil. When will Echo return in the MCU? Although the post credit scene in Echo sets the stage for Kingpin's return in Daredevil Born Again, Maya Lopez's future in the MCU remains unclear. While Echo is not confirmed for any upcoming Marvel projects, her connections to Kingpin leave open the possibility of her appearance in the upcoming Daredevil series. Having clashed with Daredevil in Echo Episode 1, Maya possesses knowledge of the Devil of Hell's Kitchen and may choose to ally with him. Alternatively, Maya might opt to stay in Oklahoma, potentially setting the stage for a second season of Echo if Marvel Studios decides to continue exploring the characters through the television series. There's also the prospect of Maya appearing in an upcoming Avengers movie, such as Avengers The Kang Dynasty or Avengers Secret Wars, where Earth's mightiest heroes confront a multiversal war. Given Echo's formidable abilities and combat skills, her assistance could prove invaluable. While the timeline and context of Maya's return in the MCU remain uncertain, the Echo post credits scene lays the groundwork for potential future Marvel shows. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching.